Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Higher Ideas Podcast. Uh, for the next few audio episodes, I think I'm going to start breaking down uh, some points I very lightly touched on in the uh, 002 video about Occupy. And this time, I'm going to talk about the idea that nothing ever changes. This is a sentiment that would be the probably the most common thing that people would say to you when you would bring up Occupy. The first negative comment you would get is nothing ever changes, they're not going to change anything. And I just think that's a ridiculous way to think because anyone who's taken a decent glance at history knows that everything is always changing. Nothing ever stays the same, if anything. Maybe there are patterns that never change, like corruption or uh, dissolution of a state, degradation of a system, but that doesn't mean nothing ever changes. Let me convince you about that. So the most striking example of this that I can refer to is homosexuals. At one point, homosexuality was punishable by death in many places. And eventually it was simply illegal, even in the US and Canada, it was illegal. So it had to be underground, it had to be sort of, um, if you were gay, you had to hide yourself in society. And it was a horrible thing for gay people to have to do. And I'm sure if gay people got together back then and talked about change and talked about a future where things would be better, they probably had a couple negative friends that would say, ah, oh, nothing ever changes, get used to this because it's never changing. And look at today. Right there you see that things do change, they can change. And not only did homosexuality become not illegal, rather than legalizing it somehow, and also on the gay marriage front, I'd say they're winning, even though the opposition is always trying to attack. They won in the US, to get into the military. And just in general in society, corporations right now are lining up to advertise pro-gay imagery to try and get the gay business. So right there you know that it's done, it's accepted, it's the money machine has embraced it, the big money machine. And uh, that's of course a little bit of a dubious pleasure, but it's a sign, it's a clear sign that things have changed completely, just in a generation basically. So how can you say that nothing ever changes? Things change all the time. The same happened to the black community throughout history, from slavery to uh, freedom, and still living in a sort of um, uh, a disadvantaged way for a long time. And even today, for a large part, at least in the US, it seems that uh, black people are still struggling to even have basic quality of life. Just it seems like so much are behind the poverty line. and someone from that community might say it's worthless, nothing ever changes, but then I would tell that person your ancestors had been slaves. Things did change from there to here, and if the change isn't where you wanted it to be, it's up to you to inherit that and move it forward and keep that spirit alive. So many people think that everything that's going to happen has happened and this is how it is forever, but that's the attitude of a society that accepts defeat or accepts accepts being unexceptional. So the gay community is the one that has advanced the most, I think. And, uh, you know, the black community still has some work to do, and I hope younger people in those communities are taking up the flag and continuing the fight, because that's the only way you're going to help each other out of this. Now, I don't even think I need to speak much more than that. Change happens. Change happens all the time. And change is happening now. So don't be disheartened that it seems that the initial Occupy wave may have died off and been quote-unquote unsuccessful. I call it quote-unquote incomplete. It's work left to do. It's a work in progress. Things have changed even a little bit, as I mentioned in the last video. Individuals have changed because of Occupy, so the first step is there. Individuals that have been changed through their experience or through their witnessing of Occupy now are the ones responsible to step up and grow and, and take the place of the heroes behind us. Get up on the stage, on the historical stage, and be one of those heroes. It's not crazy to think it might be you.
it might be a little bit ahead of yourself, but there's nothing wrong with dreaming big. And that's a really worthy dream, to change history for the better. That's something that if more people did, history in general would be a lot better. Bad history happens when there's a lack of people thinking that they can change the world. And they're thinking correctly when they think that. It's not a delusion, it's a reality. Proven by history and proven by all these groups that are progressing over time in society and making their own individual situations better by constant dedicated effort and passionate action. Things can change, things do change. If anything, the hardest thing is to keep things the same. So on the fight between the status quo and progress, progress actually has the upper hand because nature favors movement. And standing still is evolutionary death. So nature is on our side, as tacky as that sounds. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Go for it. Go big. Go for it like you're, like the world is all about you. Go for it like the world is your story and you're the hero. Just go for it. Do it. And you will live to see change.